So it's finally time to get the engine bay and all the relevant parts painted. It's taken quite a bit of work to reach this milestone and there's still quite a bit of preparation before I start actually painting. The first step I took was to partition off the front of the bus from the back, so I made a wall of cardboard. Not only do I want to stop unnecessary paint from entering the back of the bus, I also want to stop all of the paint and dust going in there while I prepare the surfaces. I did a lot of cleaning previously, however because the bus sat for a few years before reaching this stage, a lot of surface rust has formed as you can see from these pictures. You'll notice there is a sheet with a hole here. This is where the hot water hose from the engine entered and exited for the heater, which sits in front of the passenger. However this looks very crappy and in the future I plan on making a plate with proper hose attachments, so I've removed it for the painting stage. I also removed the metal bracket that was used for the old radiator as the new radiator is much bigger and will be mounted differently. This is the upper front section of the engine bay that will need some cleaning before spraying. The holes on the left are where the hot air is piped from the heating unit to the different sections in the front. Not all of the destinations are visible in this video. I'm using some fence panels to hang all the parts that also need painting. These are hung from multi-strand cable as they are a bit heavy and it makes it easy to spray them all over from this position. I've got some black plastic to contain the overspray, however the shed does fill up with paint fumes regardless. Finally, I hang all the remaining parts. All of these have been cleaned and polished ready for the primer coat. On the inside of the bus, I've created a wood frame that I've covered with a clear plastic sheet and taped down. I've used a clear sheet as there is a light above that hangs down and I'll need that while painting. I've also covered the front with some plastic including the front access hole and cardboard is covering the windows. A lot of the external paint job needs redoing but that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down right now. You can see that I've now cleaned up the engine base surfaces as in the light it all looks shiny and ready to paint. This here is the upper front section of the engine bay again. As you can see it's also nice and shiny. You would think now that I'm ready to paint, but one more step is to wipe down all the surfaces to be painted to remove any remaining dust, oil and solvents. Using clean rags and mineral turpentine I spent a few hours going over all the surfaces and as you can see I used quite a lot of rags. And here I am, ready to start painting. I'm using a proper painting mask with a filter to stop me breathing in the poisonous fumes. And because of this, I needed to have a bit of a shave as my beard stops a tight seal of the mask against my face. So I decided to go with some mutton chops. Quite a look if I must say so myself. First I applied two coats of an etching primer. These photos were taken after the first coat was done. There's still lots of spots missed during the first coat, so I got those in the second coat. Over the next several days, I applied three coats of an enamel gloss black rust sealer, which I then let sit for a few days before removing all of my plastic sheeting and masking. I'll be honest, it wasn't the most professional paint job. There's a few runs when you start looking closely. However, I'm not trying to restore this back to mint condition. My goal is to get it running again. So with that in mind, I'm quite happy with the outcome of the paint job. All of the hanging parts look great now. Here are the engine mounts and also the brackets for the shock absorbers. These are the front engine brackets for the cross member and then these are the ones for the rear cross member. All of these pieces are for the heater hoses. Finally, it's time to remove the cables that are holding up the two cross members. All of these parts look great painted and I can't wait to get them all added into the engine bay and see them in place. So that's about it for this video. In the next episode I'm going to take stock of where I'm up to and what steps I will be taking next in the project. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, bye!